Welcome everybody. Today Sarah is going to walk us through how to make homemade pickled beets. This is Khaki Shorts where we cover travel, food, and just utter nonsense. The first step is obviously going to be well, getting beets. At the Korean grocery store they actually had two types, with the greens and without. The ones with greens were kind of small so Sarah mixed between the two types. She chose about six to make two jars worth. Back at home, she preheated the oven to 400 degrees. Sarah likes to roast her beets in the oven before pickling. If you get the type with the tops attached, save the greens. You can actually cook those like any other type of green to eat. Cut off the greens right above the beet root. Next step, wash them thoroughly. Sarah's going to roast these almost like you would a baked potato. She always puts down a first layer of foil because the beets can sometimes leak during roasting and make a mess. Wrap each beet in foil and place on your baking sheet. Put them in the oven for about 45 minutes. If the beets are larger, they might need about an hour. When the beets are almost finished, Sarah makes her brine. She likes to use this pot which has a spout on each side. It just makes pouring it into the jars easier. First step, measure out one third cup of sugar and add to the pot. Next, pour in a half a cup of white distilled vinegar. Then add a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Some people just use one cup of regular vinegar, but Sarah finds the apple cider vinegar adds a better taste. Next up, pour in one cup of water. Then add one teaspoon of salt. Move the pot to the stove and bring to a boil while stirring occasionally. At this point, you can add mustard seed, peppercorn, or bay leaves. Sarah prefers adding dill. This will be strained out before adding it to the jars. Once the mixture has boiled and the sugar is melted, remove from heat to let cool slightly. On to preparing the beets. Sarah likes to use plastic gloves because the beet juice can stain your hands. After the beets have cooled, unwrap them and the skin should peel off easily. If the skins give you trouble, rinse them under some cold water. Cut off any hard spots, then slice the beets. Sarah likes her beets thick. She cuts them into about one half inch slices. Then split the sliced beets between two 16 ounce mason jars. Although these are going in the canning jars, they are not shelf stable. They will need to be refrigerated and will last about six weeks. After the beets are in the jars, pour in the pickling liquid through a strainer being sure to fully cover the beets. Push the beets down to get out any air bubbles and make sure all of them are under the liquid. Put on the caps and refrigerate. Sarah likes to leave them in the refrigerator at least overnight before eating. We noticed the fresh beets were softer, and the ones sold in the store with the greens cut off were a bit crunchier. Remember, beets prepared this way are not shelf stable. They must be refrigerated. So if you like pickled beets, take a few minutes to make some of your own and enjoy. If you can keep the rest of the family from eating them first, that is. If you found this helpful, be sure to like this video, hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos about travel, food, and just utter nonsense. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.